हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल इंजीनियरिंग गुरु ट्वेंटी इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर वन मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज न्यूमेरिकल ऑन फ्लाई बिल यू कैन जॉइन द इंजीनियरिंग गुरु ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी यूट्यूब चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइब विद दिस चैनल ऑल्सो फॉलो एफ बी पेज जॉइन अस ऑन टेलीग्राम चैनल व्हाट्सअप चैनल और व्हाट्सअप ग्रुप सो हियर Uh, this is the one uh, numerical a turning moment diagram for a petrol engine is drawn the following scale a turning moment 1 mm equal to 5 newton into meter so here uh, scale is given 1 mm equal to 5 newton into meter crank angle 1 mm equal to 1 degree uh, we already cover one video on turning moment diagram so on turning moment diagram on x axis uh, that is the crank angle and on y axis that is turning moment value so this scale is given for that you can also see this video for turning moment diagram from this link a turning moment diagram repeats it, itself at every half revolution of the engine the area above and below the mean turn, turning moment line taken in order r 295 685 40 340 960 270 mm square different area are given understand so this given this area above and below the t mean line means first value will be positive second negative then positive negative the rotating part are equivalent to mass 36 kg at the radius of dilation 150 mm determine the coefficient of the fluctuation of speed when the engine runs at 1800 rpm now see given data small m is given 36 kg then radius of dilation 150 mm n value is given 1800 rpm from this we can find omega 2 pi n by 60, so that value of omega equal to 1 double 8.52 radian per second. Determine the coefficient of friction of speed means we have to find that CS value. Different area is given for above and below the mean torque line. So from this value, we have to first plot very carefully turning moment diagram. So this diagram is called turning moment diagram. on x axis that is crank angle and on y axis that is the value is turning moment here you can see the first loop this is called positive loop above t mean line that value is 295 then second value is negative means below the t mean line so 685 then 40 positive 340 negative 960 positive and then 270 negative so this is called turning moment diagram now focus which value we have and which value we have to find so from we have to find that cs value our goal is to find cs that is coefficient of fluctuation of speed we have one formula maximum fluctuation of energy delta e equal to m into k square omega square cs from the given data we already have that m value that is 36 k value 150 mm we already find omega so our goal is to find cs from this formula we can find the cs value but the one problem is that we don't have this delta e value so first we have to find this delta e value then we can find cs value so delta e equal to maximum energy minus minimum energy so from this turning moment diagram we have to find maximum energy as well as minimum energy let's see so here the scale is given 1 mm equal to 5 newton into meter this is for turning moment this is y axis and the crank's angle scale 1 mm equal to 1 degree means this value 
so converted into radian so that value is pi by 180 radian so remember these things this uh, degree value always convert into radian so multiply by pi by 180 so here scale 1 mm square on turning moment diagram equal to 5 into pi by 180 remember this thing you need to multiply this x axis and y axis scale from this multiplication of scale you can get the proper answer or right answer otherwise we will get the wrong answer so student always uh, get a mis mistake here so you remember this 5 into pi by 180 By divided by 36, you will get the value 0.0872 newton into meter. This is important steps. Now, the total energy at E. Here you can see that we assume that the at the starting point the energy is E. We have to find energy at all the point means point A, point B, point C, D, E, F, and G. Now. Energy at point B means here. So at point A, his energy is E, and you have to add 295 plus means at point B, E plus 295. Now same as energy at point C, equal to E plus 295 minus 685. That value will be E minus 390. Same for at point D means here E plus two ninety five minus six eighty plus forty means this value will be E minus three fifty and energy at point E means here so E plus two ninety five minus six eighty five plus forty minus three forty so that value will be E. Minus six ninety, and energy at point point F, E plus two ninety five minus six eighty plus forty minus three forty plus nine sixty, so energy at point F equal to E plus two seventy, and final point that is end point and that point directly connect with this A point, so we can say that energy at point G. Is same as energy at point A means E. Here we have to find maximum energy and minimum energy. From this value, we can observe that the maximum energy. YouTube and write down Engineering Guru 2020. Search this is Engineering Guru YouTube channel. Open this and subscribe this for more update. Uh, various playlist available here. You can see. Uh, this is for uh, various subject this is for velocity diagram uniform velocity for cam profile synthetic linkages and more video more playlist are here maximum fluctuation of energy delta e equal to maximum energy minus minimum energy so first find maximum energy from this value we can see that the maximum energy is at point b and minimum energy that is point e means e minus 690 So maximum here that's point B, and minimum that is here at point E. So you can simply write the delta E equal to E plus two ninety five minus into bracket E minus six ninety. So from this you can find that value nine eighty five mm square. So delta E value in mm square because the area is given mm square. Now That value always multiply with the scale. Remember this thing. Many student have mistake here. So nine eighty five into that scale value point zero eight seven two. That value delta E equal to eighty six newton into meter. So here you can see that we find that value delta E. So from this formula we can find the C S value. We now we have all the values. Delta e equal to delta e equal to eighty six. M is given thirty six. Then k is point one five omega one double eight point five five two. 
so cs equal to 86 divided by this value means 287 87 so cs value will be 0 0.003 or we can say 0.3 percentage so this is our goal and this is our answer that we have find from this value this is the end of this numerical if you have any query any doubt you can comment me so if you I find my video very helpful like. you can like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel stay on this channel stay on more video will become of this subject thank you